Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 5 amazing all new 2024 KTM motorcycles first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. Along with the headlight, the windshield has also been revamped. It looks a bit bulkier compared to the one on the 2023 model. Also, one of the bikes can be seen sporting a setup with two windshields stacked together. The smaller one might come as standard and the bigger one stacked on top of it might come as an optional and it might be removable too. All in all, the fascia looks more robotic than before and the radar sensor really sticks out like a sore thumb in the test mules. The price of KTM 1290 Super Adventure S 2024 will be $22,514 expectedly. KTM will be launched its new super and stylish model of motorcycle 1290 Super Adventure S 2024. It will be available in attractive orange black and gray black colors and more. Performance and Engine The price of KTM 1290 Super Adventure S 2024 will be $22,514 expectedly. KTM will be launched its new super and stylish model of motorcycle 1290 Super Adventure S 2024. It will be available in attractive orange black and gray black colors and more. Performance and Engine the KTM 1290 Super Adventure S 2024 is powered by a 1,301 cubic centimeters. Over the last few months, a number of KTM test bikes have been spotted. And now, the 890 SMT Mule has also made an appearance in Spain. Here's what we know about it. On the design front, the 890 SMT takes inspiration from multiple models. For example, the LED headlight topped by the transparent windscreen is similar to the Adventure range from the Austrian brand. Meanwhile, the tail section looks rather sleek like one of KTM's Street Fighters. It's likely to be powered by an 899 cubic centimeters parallel twin motor with the output rated at 103 brake horsepower. However, the numbers can go higher since the 890 Duke dishes out more power from the same motor. Another area where the SMT separates itself from the ADV is the use of a conventional fuel tank instead of the two units that the off-road sibling uses. The SMT test bike is equipped with an upswept exhaust which should translate to better clearance but it's also riding on long travel suspension with road bias tires and wheels. The setup is somewhat mimicking the company's supermoto bloodline. Along with LED illumination, we expect KTM to give it ride modes, traction control, smartphone connectivity, ABS levels, and more. As of now, the bike seems to be in its early stages of testing and development. But once launched, it could rival the BMW F900XR and the likes. The combination of the wide bars, tall suspension, and spacious riding position of an adventure bike with the grip and handling offered by asphalt-focused suspension and tires has always been an appealing one. The latest spy pictures from KTM's test facility show that an 890 SMT is under development to fill precisely that niche. The 2024 KTM 1390 Super Duke GT's existence has been essentially confirmed by the appearance of the standalone 1390 LC8 engine in several KTM parts lists around the globe. Dealer websites, with parts sections that are probably automatically populated from a central list on official KTM servers, have revealed two distinct part numbers for the new 1390 engine and confirmed they're due to be used in the 1390 Super Duke 2024. The two engines appear to be identical, but one version is listed as engine 1390 Super Duke CN 2024 which suggests it's one that's manufactured in China, presumably at KTM's joint venture factory, established with CF Moto. CF Moto already makes the 790 and 890 parallel twin LC8C engines for use in both KTM and CF Moto machines, and its own 1,379 cubic centimeters version of the LC8 V twin that's used in the China only CF Moto 1250 TRG Tourer. The new KTM face with the facelift, 
the 1390 Super Duke GT will soon shed its front beak, which was previously pulled forward in the form of the typical KTM split face. It seems that it will now have the same face as the 1390 Super Duke R, which consists of two LED projectors placed on top of each other in a plastic frame. Although the front mask on the test mules still looks like a preliminary rapid prototyping version, it is likely to remain the same. Compared to the version mounted on the 1390 Super Duke R in October, there are only minor differences, such as the area around the round LED lights. On the Super Duke R, the cooling fins were visible, but they are more covered up here. Daytime running lights and cornering lights in addition, in November, light was visible from the slots on the left and right sides of the upper lamp on the Super Duke GT. The upcoming 2024 KTM 1390 Super Duke R has made another appearance. It has been spotted testing closely in Europe and the new spy shots reveal many details of the upgraded Austrian Street Fighter. KTM will likely remove the vertically stacked LED slats and replace them with LED projector headlights flanked by boomerang-shaped DRLs. Even the fuel tank shape along with its extensions, the rear seat and the overall design seems much more aggressive than before. While the 1390 Duke is set to look just as sporty and youthful, the cuts and creases seem to have increased evidently. It'll be powered by KTM's LC8V2 twin motor but the output could possibly receive a small bump. In the current 1390 Duke, the engine makes about 180 brake horsepower and 140 newton meters. Even the engine tune could be slightly altered. This motor is linked to a six-speed gearbox and gets a bi-directional quickshifter. Other rider aids like traction control, ABS, ride modes, wheelie control and engine braking levels are also expected on the 2024 KTM 1390 Duke R. We also expect KTM to offer features like smartphone connectivity for navigation, call, music and SMS notifications. The test bike scene here is equipped with adjustable WPUSD front forks and a monoshock. Meanwhile, the braking hardware comprises dual front and a single rear disc with Brembo calipers. This setup is mounted on 17-inch alloy wheels wrapped in sticky road-biased rubber. KTM has also given the test bike a full-system Acropovic exhaust system but it could be offered as an accessory rather than a standard fitment. KTM currently has the 390 series as its most powerful offering for the Indian market. While it did bring the 790 Duke in limited numbers a few years ago, the probability of it bringing any other big bikes from its stable to our market is low. The 1,301 cubic centimeters machines now make up the 1290 Super Duke range, with the Super Duke R, RR, Arevo, and GT, but they now seem set to be replaced by a new 1390 range. The KTM RC990 sport bike is a model line of sport bikes built by the KTM, an Austrian motorcycle manufacturer. This motorcycle manufacturer proved its prowess with a limited edition RC8C sports bike. Even though this bike was not street legal, the 100 units of this limited run all sold out in less than 5 minutes during the pre-order period. Now, the company plans to introduce the KTM RC990 sport bike, a street legal bike that journalists consider one of the world's most powerful and fastest sport bike production. This post provides a detailed overview of this motorcycle, considered one of KTM's best models ever made. This fantastic model targets sport riders despite its street legal status. It is the second successive year that KTM has released a model legal for the road. Their introduction of the RC8C was received well by motorcycle enthusiasts. It marked an important milestone in their production of motorcycles, considering it is the first bike where KTM has not catered to only extreme sports riders. Therefore, the release of the RC990 will take many bike enthusiasts by surprise. According to Spy News, this new model is going to come with a lot of power. It has been designed to offer excellent performance on the road and make riders proud. 
The motorcycle design allows for reliable acceleration, good handling, and impressive power. Let's have a closer look at its technical specifications. Many people believe that KTM is losing its touch with the RC series. According to them, the sport bike models from KTM are not as refined as those released in the past. However, news about the existence of this legendary model is terrific for sport bike enthusiasts. The manufacturer might have succeeded in keeping its classic appearance despite adding a new engine. The new powertrain will also be available on the KTM RC 990. The suspension of the motorcycle delivers good handling. The brakes on the bike include twin discs and radially mounted four-piston calipers up front. Safety is further enhanced by the tires providing comfort, grip, and reliable braking performance.